Hello students, how are you all? I hope you are fit and fine and keeping well. So children, as you all know, we are completing chapter number one, who did Patrick's homework. And the chapter was explained and the chapter was read also. So children, yesterday we have completed working with language and after that, we have started working with the text. Three questions we have already done. So today we are going to start from fourth one. Now third answer we have completed yesterday. Patrick was a lazy boy who avoided studying and did not like to do his homework. So he wished that Elf would do all his homework till the end of the session. So this is the answer children, we have already done. Now we are moving to the fourth number answer. So for this I have to erase Now the next question is, in what subject did the little man need help to do Patrick's homework? Now number four question is, that is, in what subject? So because he was lazy boy and he did not like to study. So that I think in all the subject he wanted help. So here children you can see in what subject did the little man need help to do Patrick's homework. So this answer we can find in paragraph number 5 and 6. Let's read paragraph number 5 and 6. I'll write on the board answers but we have to read this passage once again because the text a number and the paragraph is already given in the question along with the question. So that is why we can find answer from these paragraph. And true to his word that elf began to do Patrick's homework. Except there was one glitch. The elf did not always know what to do and he needed help. Help me, help me, he'd say. And Patrick would have to help in whatever way. I don't know his word, the elf squeaked while reading Patrick's homework. Get me a dictionary. Know what's even better. Look up the word and sound it out by each letter. Now on paragraph number six. When it came to the maths, Patrick was out of luck. What are times table? The elf shrieked. We elves never need that, an addition and subtraction and division and fractions. Here sit down beside me, you simply must guide me. Elves know nothing of human history, to them it's a mystery. So the little elf, already a shouter, just got louder, go to the library, I need books, more and more books. And you can help me read them too. So after reading do these two paragraphs, we can see that each and every subject, he got difficulty. Elf as well as Patrick. Because why Patrick? Because Patrick was a lazy boy and he did not want to read his books properly. So at every subject, there is a hitch and the Patrick and the elf were working together. Elf was not able to solve answers so that is why he was always asking help of Patrick. So children, now we are going to write number four answer. So first of all, you just write it down, question number four, then we will write answer number four. Okay. So answer number four is, the little man was unknown to all. The 
little man was unknown unknown to all the subjects to all the subjects in patrick's in patrick's course okay maths english maths english and history and history being some of the subject some of the subjects and needed help in all of them okay children now here you can see why he needed help because he was not from our world he was not aware what are the human being are reading so he was and the elf was from supernatural world or you can say the fantasy world so that is why he did not know what is going on in our world what are the books how he can write because he was so tiny person and of course his mind was also very tiny one so that is why he did not know how to write how to speak words how to solve problems in maths and history history be became for him like a mystery so here children you can see the little man was unknown to all the subject he was totally unknown to all the subjects in patrick's course maths english and history being some of the subjects and needed help in all of them so here children you can see the reality of an elf because why he was totally unknown of these type of the subject because he did not know he did not learn before so that is why he was totally unknown of these type of the subject okay maths subtraction addition and uh, division and these concept were not in his world as he told to patrick he already told to patrick but because these these concept i am totally unknown so here you can see these subjects or i think all the subjects it's quite difficult for an elf so children now we will do number 5 question so write it down take a screenshot and after that we will do number 5 okay number 5 question is how did patrick help him how did patrick help him so first of all for this we have to see because in the bracket the seven number is given so we will see in seven number paragraph what is the answer we have to search what is the answer how did patrick help him as a mass matter of fact every day in every way that little elf was 
a knack. Patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag. He was staying up nights, had never felt so weary, was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry. Now here children you can see, as a matter of fact, every day, in every way, that little elf was nag. Nag means one who troubles someone all the time. It means he was a cause of trouble of Patrick. Patrick had given his work to the elf, but this elf was not able to understand these type of the concept, these type of the subject of his course. So that is why he always having a knack. He became knack for the Patrick. And all the time, he used to ask question, he used to ask dictionary, he used to some other helping books. So that is why all the time, through all the night, Patrick was working. Patrick was doing hard work with Elf. Okay? So here children, we will write the answer, answer number 5. Answer number 5 is The question was How did Patrick help him? So now I am going to write answer number 5 The elf being unknown Being unknown to all subject, to all subjects, asked Patrick asked Patrick to get book. to get books from library. So here few lines are able to tell you that it's revealing the fact these lines that the elf being unknown to all the subject asked Patrick to get books from library because he did not know these type, of, these type of subject. So here children you can see and read it. Read it out to him word by word. Word by word. In this way, in this way, Patrick guided him guided him to do his own do his own homework which was done by the elf now children here you can see the elf being unknown to all subject, ask Patrick to get books from library and read it out to him word by word. So word by word, Patrick used to read it. So 
here you can see a drastic change from in the starting of the chapter you have already seen Patrick was very lazy boy he did not like to read learn or write anything he instead of reading of the book he wanted only and only games and now here you can see the change, the transformation of this boy. Because he was helping to help, but in reality, he is doing his work himself. Now, the elf being unknown to all the subject asked Patrick to get books from library and read it out to him word by word. In this way, Patrick guided him to do his own homework, which was done by the elf. So children, write this answer. This is answer number five. And after that, we will do answer number six. So take a screenshot. Okay. I hope. I have taken screenshot. I am going to erase it. Now we are moving to number 6. Question number 6. Who do you think did Patrick homework? The little man or Patrick himself? Give reason for your answer. Now children here, you can see that obviously Patrick done his homework by himself. But we have to read the passage which is given in question number 6. And to search answer we will read paragraph number 9 and 10. So 9, Patrick got his A's, his classmates were amazed, his teachers smiled and were full of praise. And his parents, they wondered what had happened to Patrick. He was now the model kid. Clint, his room, did his chorus, was cheerful, never rude, like he had developed. A whole new attitude. Now paragraph number 10. This is the last paragraph. You see in the end. Patrick still thought he'd made that tiny man do all his homework. But I'll share a secret just between you and me. It wasn't the elf Patrick had done it himself. Now children, here Carol Murray, at the end of the story, she revealed the truth that this is the secret in between you and me that what it wasn't the elf, Patrick had done it himself. So now in the presence of elf, he completed his work himself. Nobody was there. He went to the library, he searched the books, he read all the uh, lines from the book, line by line, word by word, by himself. And here children, you can see Patrick had done his homework, nobody else. Carol Murray, at the end of the story, at the ending line, she revealed the truth of this story and this Patrick became a very hard-working boy so children we should write answer after reading these two paragraph what do you think did Patrick's homework the little man or Patrick himself give reasons for your answer so now children it is depend on our thinking so we should write in our way. So children, write it down. It was Patrick. 
It was Patrick. Who did? Who did all the? Who did all the homework? It was actually him. It was actually him who guided who guided the elf in every assignment okay so here children you can see the answer i have written in very short way it was patrick who did all the homework okay here you can see a full stop it was actually him who guided the elf in every assignment yes children it is reality so from this story you can learn how to work hard and after that you will get success success in examination success in any competition if you are working hard so hard work is the key of success and this transformation happened only and only by elf because elf was continuously asking help from patrick that is why it was possible now so children now we are going to do after completing these questions now we will do writing that you can find on page number 13 in your honey circle book chapter number 1 now writing number a this story has a lot of rhyming words as a poem does can you write out some part of it like a poem so that the rhymes come at the end of the separate line so first of all the example is given in your uh, book patrick never did homework too boring he said he played basketball and hockey and nintendo instead so children uh, let's write few uh, rhyming uh, lines from your book from your this chapter now first of all i'm going to write this is writing so i'll write the little man first one the little man's face wrinkled like a like a dish cloth thrown in the hamper so now here you can see the little man face wrinkled like dish cloth thrown in the hamper so yahan pe here you can see a rhyme is there wrinkled and hamper now second one is So here I'm going to write. I don't know this word. The elf squeaked while reading Patrick's homework. And uh, next, you can write. There's so many. Um, 
in number 5 paragraph you can see and true to his word that little f little elf began to do Patrick's homework Patrick homework okay now here you can see and true to his word that little elf began to do Patrick's homework so here you can see word and work is now here giving you a rhyming sound now we are moving to the next one that is few lines you can find himself because as a matter of fact every day in every way the little elf was nag so here you can see patrick was working harder and ever and was it is a drag now here you can see two lines you can write over here you can find it at page number 7 are sorry page number 10 and this is paragraph number 7 as a matter of fact every day in every way that little elf was a nag okay patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag so nag and drag here it is a rhyming sound now patrick got his a's his classmates were amazed so it is quite simple so i'll write on the board number 3 patrick got his a's his a's okay his classmates were amazed okay so patrick got his a's his classmates were amazed so it is also creating a rhyming sound now if you will write next few lines so we can write because it's lot of Uh, words or sentences are there in this uh, uh, story in a very rhyming way i don't know this word the elf squeed while reading patrick's homework this is also a rhyming sound so here you can write many more sentences because it's giving you a rhyming sound now we are moving to the b number exercise look at these sentence too boring he said cleaned his room did he course when we speak we often leave out words that can easily be guessed we do not do this when we write unless we are trying to write as we speak as in the story now here children this is also a part of our literature because sometimes whatever we are telling to others we are not writing in the on a paper why because sometimes some sentence unspoken but it will be understood by the other person so here you can see the one example is giving, giving too boring so it is talking about which which uh, you can say which type of the work here you can see that too boring too boring it is talking about homework now the next one cleaned his room did his chorus now cleaned his room did his chorus what do you mean by chorus or what do you what is indicating 
These sentences are indicated in whom? Patrick. Patrick cleaned his room and did his chorus. So these type of the sentences you can find in all the text. But actually when we used to write in our own writing, so we just don't want to write these type of the unspoken words. It is spoken word but uh, you can say they, it's not completing its meaning. Until we read all the, we have to read all the chapter. What is inside this story? So, uh, this type of the example you can find uh, in, the, in this uh, chapter. So, you can do yourself because this is only and only based on your reading. You just take out some uh, dialogues and you just complete it. So, if we were to write carefully, we would say homework is too boring, he said. He cleaned his room and did his chorus. So we have to complete these sentences. Now the C1 is rewrite the following incomplete sentences carefully so that the reader does not have to guess what is left out. More and more books, too difficult, got up late, missed the bus, solve the mystery. Now here D also a writing part and here the a picture is shown to the students of RK Lakshman so that we will do later so first of all uh, we just complete our work because lot of work we have done today so complete this and uh, in our next video we will be completing this uh, left work so we will do in the next video Till then children, bye bye and take care. We will do poem also which is along with this chapter. So children learn these answers whatever we have done and try to write by yourself the answers. So okay, so I am concluding this video. Till then bye bye and take care.